Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, please type one on the comment section. If you can hear me, please type one on the comment section. If you can hear me, please type one on the comment section. Okay, I can see one from Gabriel. I can see one from Emmanuel Ogechi Ezulu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming to the class. So we'll be starting the class in NS. We'll be starting the class in NS. Okay, we'll be starting the class in NS. It's five minutes past eight. So I'll be starting the class in NS. I can see that uh, people are coming late for this class, even though they've been given enough advance information that this class would start on time. So I'll not wait for anybody. I'll go ahead and just start the class. Right, I will go ahead and start the class. Since people are deciding to come late, I will go ahead and just start the class. So, my name is Justice Mbam. I'm a connector in the connected economy. Okay, I'm an emerging leader in this project, and by the grace of God, we are all in this team together called the Vision 247 team of the C21FG. Okay, I'm going to be explaining to you what C21FG means, okay, who our mastermind is, who our G leader is, and the leaders that we have in this team. I'm talking about emerging leaders, okay, and then um, basically we'll run from there. The essence of this training is to show you how to connect your first four downlines as a new connector. So it's your target as a new uh, partner in this business to be able to connect four people uh, within your first uh, four weeks. You practically can do that in a very, very short period of time. You can connect four people in a short period of time. Okay, but I will teach you how to do it. This is uh, what all of us who are leaders in this team were able to achieve in about a week. So you can perfectly connect four people in less than four weeks, okay? I'm going to be giving you practical skills that you can implement to start doing it. So basically, what are we going to be covering? We are going to be covering mind, a bit of mindset development. You'll be getting that from the, the master and power cell, okay? I'll teach you how to launch your business, uh, how to develop your prospect list and keep expanding it, how to invite your prospects. Uh, you need to be booking at least 25 people for each of your the Zoom sessions. There are, we have five Zoom sessions on a weekly basis. Every week, we have five opportunities to invite people to, to see our business opportunity. If you set a target for yourself, the whole essence of this meeting, if you set a target for yourself to invite 25 people for each of those meetings, you will get more than four sign up in four weeks. This is the crop of the whole of this training. If, I, if you don't get anything from this training, we have five opportunities to invite your prospect to on a weekly basis. We have Zoom meeting by 5 p.m. on Monday. We have Zoom meeting by 5 p.m. on Tuesday. We have Zoom meeting by 5 p.m. on Thursday. That's number three. We have Zoom meeting by 5 p.m. on Saturday. That's number four. We have Zoom meeting by 3 p.m. on Sunday. That is the Amazon Women Project. So that is five opportunities to invite people to see your business 
on a daily, on a weekly basis. So if you set a target from the beginning of today to invite minimum of 25 people for each of those events, you will have more than four sign up in four weeks. I'm not telling you what is theory. I'm telling you what I've put into practice and other leaders in this thing are put into practice and they'll be able to achieve the same result. So if you don't take anything, if you if network logs you out, or maybe for some reason you didn't get um, what I'm saying later on in this meeting, the whole point of this meeting is that there are five opportunities for you to invite people to. Now, I know some of you, as I'm saying, invite people, 25 people to each of those meetings. Now you'll be thinking, uh, where will I get the people? Don't worry, I'm going to teach you how where to get the people from. Uh, whether from your phone, from Facebook, or from whatever, but yeah, you, you know, know how to be able to connect um, uh, people to see your business or business because your business, it, your business here is basically to share information and invite people to see our, our business opportunity. You're not selling, you're not marketing, you're not convincing anybody. All you just need to do is to do follow this case and you will achieve the result. Okay, so let me just go into the crops of the issue. So, as you all know, our business is uh, owned by, or our parent company is Alliance Emotion Global. Alliance Emotion Global is our comp uh, parent company and it operates in uh, over 50 countries around the world. It has been in existence in uh, the last 14 years, okay? Its main headquarters is in the Philippines and recently the company has rebranded and uh, it's now going by the name Empowered Consumerism. Okay, so what is here Empowered consumerism and here Alliance Emotion Global is the same thing. Now, Alliance Emotion Global operated in, started operating in Nigeria in 2012. In 2012, nobody in our team was part of Alliance Emotion Global. In 2016, this mastermind that you see here on your screen, right? This mastermind that you see here on, the, on your screen, some of them came together. They were into different other activities. Some of them were bankers, some of them were lawyers, some of them were uh different works of life they decided to come together to uh create a new way of running network marketing business they decided to come and create a new way they discovered that people had bastardized network marketing and were practically making it very difficult for people to succeed you 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 you, you sign up people and you basically abandon them you don't train them you don't mentor them and you just leave them as long as you've gotten their money you just leave them to 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 fend for themselves so they decided that they were going to ch change the narrative and help people to become successful in the network marketing business. And that's why they created an organization after a series of research and prayers and um, putting heads together and a lot of finding out, they chose Alliance Emotion Global, which now goes by the name uh, Empowered Consumerism. Now, they decided to come up with an organization named Century 21 Freedom Group. This Century 21 Freedom Group is C21 FG for short. Okay, now C21FG is the parent organization that comes up with different campaigns that we run with. For instance, we are running two major campaigns at the moment. We are running the La Buena Vida campaign, okay, which is known as La Buena Vida project, and the Amazon Women project, okay, which is basically targeted at getting women involved in our business. So those are the two campaigns we are running. But when this, this organization started, they started with the name own your life campaign with the campaign own your life campaign they ran this campaign for the first four years and created massive success with this campaign now you all know that very very well that when something becomes too common when people begin becomes too aware of things they begin to abuse it and they begin to underrate it so there, there's always a need for rebranding so in 2020 they decided to rebrand and came up with the name la buena vida project so la buena vida means simply means living the good life, okay? Own your life was like, okay, you own your own economy, take charge of your own economy, own your own future, don't allow anybody to control your future, that's own your life. So the same thing La Buena Vida is saying, live the good life, give yourself and your family and those around you the opportunity to live the good life. So that is the whole essence of this campaign. Now within this campaign, like I said, uh, the La Buena Vida is, is now what we're running with and maybe in the future, okay, maybe four years from now, another, campaign will be brought up and maybe we'll stop running with La Buena Vida and we'll come up with something. But it's still the same business we are doing with Alliance Emotion Global. Now, the key thing you need to understand with our business is that we don't sell, we don't market, we don't convince. We mentor people and train them and give them the opportunity to share information and then use those uh, the sharing of information to create wealth. So our team 
there are different teams in the in the La Buena Vida project. Okay, there are uh, different teams in the City One FD, and they all run by different codes. So if you go on Facebook now and search La Buena Vida, you see different people that you've never seen. You see different leaders. You see uh, Ronke or Lagunji. All of these masterminds have their own various team. Our own team, we have our elite mastermind, which is Ambassador Nefo, Obia Nefo Esimai. Okay, and our code is two four seven. So anybody that you see here that has the code two four seven is from Obian Defoe's team, okay? And is the, our team is Vision Hub. There are other teams that run with different names, okay? So that's our mastermind. And our G leader, everybody in this team, everybody here in this meeting is under uh, the mastermind, elite mastermind of Obian Esimai, and we are also under his wife, which is our G leader, okay? Elite vision leader. She's also an ambassador in this business. Uh, elite uh, vision leader, uh, Onyechi Esimai. Okay, so if you want her number, please just uh, chat me or chat, chat your leader, they will give you her number. Just, I'm just doing this so that you know very well which team you belong to and basically what your channel of communication is, all right? So in this team, we have three uh, imagine leaders, three certified imagine leaders. There are some other uh, leaders that see imagine, three certified imagine leader. That's me, Mr. Emmanuel and Mr. Gabriel. Those ones have been approved by the organization. There are others that are still at the verge of being um, accredited as emerging leaders. So there are three emerging leaders in this team. So anytime you need any assistance, any explanation or something, you want to reach me, you cannot reach me, you can reach Mr. Gabriel, we can reach uh, Mr. Emmanuel Ezenwa, basically um, to give you more guide. There are other people who also uh, have a wealth of knowledge in the team. So just make sure you locate them so that at any point in time, let him not be that you don't understand what you need to do, okay? All right, so uh, next thing is um, mindset development. So basically, I'm not going to spend more time on this. What you need to do is that you need to follow the SMO checklist. I cannot emphasize this enough. The SMO checklist has been designed to help you become successful in this business. I remember when I got started, I took the SMO checklist and I followed it judiciously as if it was an exam I was going to read. The problem with most people is that they come into this business with the mindset that, they are going to just succeed without learning the skill. So if you are like that, I would like you to discard that from your mindset. This business has the opportunity of paying you what, more than whatever job you are doing, okay? I don't know whatever job you are doing, but I know very well that this business has the capacity of paying you 10 times whatever your job can pay you. So if this business can pay you 10 times whatever your job is paying you, would it not make sense to dedicate some time to understand what this business is all about and basically so that when you are talking to somebody you are talking with, to the person with passion and conviction okay so take some time to develop uh, yourself with the, with, the, with the smo checklist okay study the fast track manual because you also need this information on the fast track manual they are basically designed to ensure that you become successful if you combine the smo checklist and the fast track manual there's no way you'll be confused there's no way you don't know what to do Okay, now the question is that, okay, once you do that now, the next step is to put them into action. But first and foremost, you need to first understand. So study your SMO checklist, study your fast track manual. We are going to be graduating people from the incubation room. And if you are not able to, um, if you are not able to, to, to fill your SMO checklist and basically submit it, we'll leave you in, um, in the incubator, in incubator room. So one thing you need to understand is that just like in everything in life, it's not everybody that is going to be successful. I'm not going to come here and switch mouth and tell you that everybody is going to be successful. Everybody can be successful here. Everybody in this team can be super, super successful and become a multi-millionaire. But not everybody will be successful because not everybody will be disciplined to do the work that requires success. So whenever I hear this kind of thing, I just tell myself from, as I'm hearing it that I'm going to be successful. I'm not going to be successful because I'm going to be lucky because I'm, I know very well that I am going to be disciplined. I'm going to be disciplined to execute, to read, to study, to apply and to implement. So that I, at the end of the day, if I don't succeed in this business, I'm not going to blame anybody that, oh, somebody did not teach me or somebody did not. I know very well that I'm going to be disciplined. So I will, I will plead with you that be disciplined, commit and learn and give yourself an opportunity to create massive success. Okay, don't just come here and donate your money and then you just leave and go. And then in the future, when you see other people succeeding, you just say, yeah, they not. You have the equal opportunity to become successful. Everybody who came into this business came in the same way you came in with zero downline, zero experience, zero knowledge, zero information. Everybody came in the same way you came in. 
Nobody has any advantage over you. So you have equal opportunity to become massively successful. So don't give yourself an excuse. If you don't have time, make out time. Like I said, if if you if if you the value of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. If you don't know the value of the business that you just joined, you there's no how you, you abuse it and you take it for granted. But if you know and understand the value of the business you have joined, you will make out time to create the success that you need. Okay. So I think I've emphasized that enough. Let me just go to the next thing. So um, I, 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 I don't need to stress the fact that you need to read the recommended book, your first year network marketing, and basically all of that. So this is the SMO checklist. I like the, the, uh, I like how Juliet, Juliet Franklin um, did, did her own SMO. That's why I'm using it as an example here. She used the PDF editor and basically filled the information now this was this this was done in like in the first two days of, of her joining the business. So it means that you can complete this SMO checklist within one week. Okay, I, I'm, I'm wondering that some people who have been in this business for two months and they've not been able to complete this. It, it's just amazing. Seriously, it's just amazing because there's no excuse they want to give me. If you think you are busy, let me tell you that I'm I'm super 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 busy. I'm super busy and I'm, I'm struggling to make out time to do this. But I know very well that this is very important to me. That, and that's why I'm finding ways to even do this meeting that I'm doing. It's not as if maybe I don't have time or there are not other pressing things that require my time. But I know very well that if I don't do this thing, I will not help you. And if I don't help you, you will not succeed. And that's how you quit. So I'm taking the pain now to do this meeting. So please, after this meeting, take out your SMO checklist. If you can't print it out and fill it, do it the way use get PDF editor. You can get PDF editor on your laptop or on your phone and edit it and do this simple task. It's it, it, it not going to take you. I, I think I, I completed this task in, in about a week when I joined this business. So I believe that if, if worst case scenario, even if you don't have time, you can complete it in two weeks. But you've been given the grace of four weeks to complete this SMO checklist. I'm not going to go through all of this. All of you know how to read, so you please just go and read it and, and do what you know you are supposed to do when you finish. Tick whatever all the activities you have done. Sign uh, and pick the date. Make your signature and then send it to your 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 G leader, your imagine leader, and basically it will be processed so that we will be welcome into the main group as a connector. Okay, there's no how you can grow if you don't if you don't put into practice some of the things that you learn, and that's basically the problem why most people don't succeed. Now, I told you from the beginning of this meeting that the whole essence of this meeting is for you to be able to invite a minimum of 25 people for each meeting. I know as I'm talking to you now, a lot of people will not do what I'm saying. There's no, there's no problem. I, I, I don't see me, me, I don't, I don't try to deceive myself that everybody is going to be successful just because some people will not discipline themselves to do the activities. So I'm, I'm just doing this now so that I'll satisfy my conscience that I've taken the time to teach everybody in this thing what they need to do to become successful. So that if they call you tomorrow and say, did they teach you how to do this thing? You will say, yes, they taught you, but you decided not to do it. Okay. So, now, how do you get the people to invite into your business? Now, when I got started, I'm giving you practical example. I'm not just giving you theory. When I got started, I emptied, they said write 100 name lists. I emptied every, every contact in my phone into an Excel sheet. So what I did was that I, export, I exported the, all the contacts in my phone um, using, um, using an, an, an exporter app. I exported it and then converted it into an Excel sheet. So I pasted it as an Excel sheet in my system, OK? Now I'm going to stop this share now, just um, just so that I will show you my own contact list, right? I'm going to just search now and just show you my my contact list. Let me just digress from this, so that you know that when we say do some things, we don't just tell you to do it; we also do it before we we tell you to do it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to share my screen again. And I'm this time I'm going to be sharing my contact list with you. All right, share. Right. So I can you see my contact list? If you can see the Excel sheet, please uh, type one in the comment section. Let me know if you can see my Excel sheet. Type one if you can see if you can see my Excel sheet. Type one if you can see my Excel sheet. Okay, I'm seeing one for Emmanuel. Okay. All right, it means you can see my Excel sheet now. So this is me when I got started. This is what I did first. Everybody in my phone, let me scroll down so that you see, you see, I have, um, let me, somebody's phone is, uh, somebody's phone is, um, 
includes all. All right, so when I, when I started, I had about, my contact list was about um, 3,000. 3,000 contact list, all the people I've known in my life. Why, why is this much? Is because I, I normally back up my, all my contacts on, on Google. So even if I lose my phone, all these contacts you are seeing here are saved up in Google. So I had I had like three thousand. Are you seeing? Are you seeing? Are you seeing the contact list? Please type one if you are seeing my contact. I just I, I need this to be an interactive class. So because this is very practical, right? Okay. So now you can see that I have over over three thousand contact lists on my phone. So what I did the first time, what I did the first time was that I tried to look at the contact list first and arrange them according to their locations. So the ones I knew their locations, I started putting Aba, 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 Abuja, 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 Abuja. You can see Abuja, 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 Abuja. Are you seeing? Okay. From Abuja, Bauchi, 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 Bauchi. DN, DN is like, I don't know. So for the ones that I didn't know that I was suspecting, I, I put DN, I didn't know. This was just trying to do some organization, right? DN. Are you seeing? Jaji, 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 Jaji. Are you seeing? Guys, are you seeing? Please say type one if you are seeing. This, this is a practical class. Type one, somebody type one if you are seeing this contact list. All right. Okay, are you seeing Kano, 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 Josh, 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 KD, 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 Are you seeing KD, KD, made, 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 leads, 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 leads. Okay, so I try to sort out PH, 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 right? You can see PH, 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 PH. You can see PH, PH. So this is to show you that when I started, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't come here to be lucky. I knew I was going to do the work, so I started organizing my list. Okay, I even had contacts in Russia, Serbia, right? Sudan, Sudan, UK, 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 USA, USA, Uyo, Yola, right? Okay, so that is what I expect for anybody who is really serious minded to succeed. Empty all your contacts. Empty all your all your contacts. If you have a laptop or where you can empty it into an Excel sheet, empty it into an Excel sheet so that you are able to run this business very well and you achieve success. So now, now let me tell you what I started doing. Now, this is all the contacts in one page. So on a daily basis, I started recording what I was doing like on, on a daily basis, I will cut about 20 or 25 to 30 names and then invite them and, um, and warm them up. I warm them up, then the next day I will invite them. So this is all contacts. So if you are looking at my screen now, there's another list called work list. Are you seeing work list? Somebody type one, please. Let me let me be sure that I've seen work list. Work, work list. Somebody type one, 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 one. Type one in the comment section. Let me be sure that I've seen work list, work list. Type one, okay? I'm seeing one, all right. So in the work list, when I started with the work list, I started, I started day one, okay? So I copied out like 20 names, right? You can see I copied out 20 names and I started inviting them and I created basically like a, um, a format where I did follow up day. So I invited the 20, right? The next day I invite, I copied another contact and pasted it here and invited them, okay? The next day, I so when I, when I finish, of course, when you, when you try to call this school, some people will not respond. So I was putting their responses. Some of them, I sent the video, them, they have watched. Some of them said not interested now, okay? Some of them said, I'll call, I'll call, I'll call. This is when I didn't even know anything about, I didn't even understand the business in full. I just knew I was going to be inviting people. So the next day, all right, I started inviting them. Some of them, I booked them, I booked them. All right, you can see date. For example, this is working list. This is 15th of April, 2020, right? Okay, I copied out. You can see this is uh, this is 15th of April again. This is like the next day. I copied out another 20 list. I worked with those ones, right? Okay. And by the time I finish working, this is 24th of April. I copied out another list. You can see 24th of April on my list. I worked with, when I finished working with these ones, 24th of April, I now copied out another list. So here, what I, I will not be angry if somebody tells me no or tell, somebody tells me is not interested because I have a big list to work with. This is 1st of May, 2020. I see 1st of May, 2020, I continued, I finished working with them. Okay, then I brought out another list again. I saw that this is 21st May 2020, right? This is 25th May 2020, right? Okay, this is this is uh, 29th May 2020. Guys, are you are you are you are you following so far? 
If you are following, you please type one on the comment section. Type one on the comment section. Type one on the comment section. So basically, uh, what I, why I'm doing this is to show you that this is second June. This is second June 2020. This is to show you that success is not magic. Success is not success is a is 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 when you apply the same principles and you do the same thing, you are going to achieve success. If there's no magic. Everybody here has equal opportunity to become successful. If all of you do the same thing I'm teaching you today, you will all be successful. Is this business is a numbers game? There's a, it's a statistic. If you show the business to enough people, somebody will join. It, I don't know how it works, but right from the 1960s, 1950s, this has been proven over time that if you show this business to enough people, some people will join. Now, the problem is that most of the time when you invite people, they will tell you they are, they are going to attend the meeting and then they will lie to you and they will not attend. So that's why you need to work with big numbers because you can invite 25 people and you'll be surprised when you get to the meeting venue, you see discover that it's only two people that are there. You can even invite 50 people and depending on the way you invite. So know very well that if you uh, invite enough people, you are going to um, you are going to achieve massive results. So let me stop that. I think I've shown enough of that. Let me go back to the slide. So, um, of course, how, how do you expand your list now? Now, let's say you finish working with everybody in your list, or maybe your list is not as big as mine, and you want to invite people. There are people that you meet every day. There are people that you uh, get in contact with. In this business, you need to be a magnet, OK? A magnet, you need to be making friends daily. The, the, the recommendation is that you should at least add two people to your list on a daily basis. So there are people you meet on Facebook. Personally, I've, if, in, today, I've collected two numbers from Facebook. Two numbers, I've collected two people's numbers on Facebook that I've added to my list. So if you just start people and make friends on Facebook, you collect. This is because I'm not even in a place where I can go out and just get number. But if you go out, maybe you go to work, you are in a place where you meet people, you can, you need to be, be prospecting intentionally. You need to be connecting intentionally, meet people intentionally, make friends intentionally, and be their friends. Get their phone number and keep on, uh, connecting with them. They, you can meet people in church, you can meet people in mocks, you can meet people in the bank, you can meet people in restaurants, you can meet people in the market. You can meet people on social media. You can meet. You just. You just need to be consciously growing your list, because your wealth in this business is inversely related to the number of people in your list. There's no how you can become a millionaire in this business if you you are working with a list of hundred. If you go and look at all the people who have succeeded in this business, their list is in thousands. When I started this business one year ago. My list was about 3,000. Well, if I show you my phone now, my list has grown to almost 6,000. Because I know very well that as I'm connecting with people, I'm inviting them. Some of them will say no now, and in the future, I will invite them. So I'm constantly, consciously growing my list. So I would like you to do the same thing. First, invite everybody that you know, then constantly invite people for, uh, and constantly expand your list. Okay? Let me just go. So. This is a contract tracker. This is one of the uh, documents you are supposed to download from the Fast Track Manual. It shows you how to organize your list. Once you have your list, you want to organize your list into three categories. First, you have your serial number, the name, the phone number. Then there are three categories of people in your list. There are those of them that have money. There are those of them that have authority. There are those people that are needy. Those that have money basically are people who are well to do. They are working. You know, they earn money. Those that have authority, it means that they are either they have money, right? They have money and they have position, they are in positions of authority. For example, maybe if you you have pastors in your list, you have uh, senators in your list, those are people of authority. Now, and then you have people in your need who basically are struggling to make ends meet. Okay, then you have something like location, then if they attended, if they got started, and then when you need to follow them. Now, the, the rule is that don't start, it's easier for you to start inviting people who do not have enough money in your list. So what you want to start doing is that you want to start inviting people who have money because some people will see this business and they want to get started but they don't have money. So don't leave the people in your list that do not have money and uh, and go and start inviting people who are broke and needy. So your goal is that don't prejudge. Show everybody the business, right? Give everybody the opportunity to say no. Don't you don't know who is going to be successful, who is going to be massively um, successful with this business because most of the times. The person that you think will start the business will not start, and the person that you think will not start will be the person that will start. So first, show everybody the list, but you want to start with people that are in the M and A category. There are people that have money and people that have authority. Okay, so um, I think that's enough about that. Now, um, like I said before, this recruiting is a numbers game. 
And let me just repeat what I said before that if you set a target from today that you are going to invite a minimum of 25 people to each of the five Zoom meetings that we have on a weekly basis, you will get more than four signups in four weeks. I'm going to repeat that again for emphasis sake. If you would set a target for yourself from today to invite at least 25 people for, every, for all of the Zoom meetings that we have, you will have more than four signups in four weeks. And that should be your target. And that's, I'm going to be explaining the 4 worksheet to you now. So it's a recruiting game, right? It, this business, the way this business works is that if you have skills and you multiply it with the number, you become successful. So now as you start as a beginner, you don't have enough skills. So you can make up for in skills what you lack. You can make up for this, uh, in numbers what you lack in skills. So right now your skill is low. What you need to do is to invite more. As you invite more, you get more sign up, your skills will increase. So as your skill increases, once you invite, your conversion rate begins to go high, okay? Your conversion rate is going to go high, but you don't have any excuse why you should not be successful if you just, first and foremost, focus on understanding what you are doing and then invite with intensity. So that's what you need to do. Now, maximize the use of tools. Don't go and start um, advertising or trying to sell people to join the business or trying to tell them why they need to join the business. Use the tools, don't let the tools do it talking for you. We have tools, we have uh, videos, we have Zoom uh, um, um, sessions. We have questionnaires. I, I'm sure a lot of you do not know that we have question and answer document. We have a question and answer document that if somebody is asking you many questions and you want to find out and you don't have the, maybe the opportunity of connecting to one of your offline for a three-way call, you can send them either the 20 minutes video, the 55 minutes video that we have and the question and answer document. All of these tools should be in at your fingertips, okay? The last time I, I did a, a, a session on clipboard. If you have a lot of these uh, tools in your clipboard, it means that if somebody is asking for anything, if somebody is asking questions, so what is this business about? You can send them, if they have attended the business meet, opportunity meeting and they still do not understand, you can send them the question and answer document. You can also send them the 21 minutes video. And if they still do not understand or they need further clarification, you can now connect them to your con consultant or to your leader on a three-way call. Now, this three-way call has been able to produce massive success. We have been employing it as leaders, and it's producing results very, very, very well, including uh, yesterday. So basically, maximize the use of tools. Don't be the one being do the talking. Don't invite people, and then you say they did not sign up. When, they, when you invite people, follow them up and use the tools and show them the exposure, because some people will not sign up immediately when they see the business opportunity. They want more exposure. So you want to give them multiple exposure within a short period of time. Let me say that again. You want to give them multiple exposures within a short period of time. So you can invite somebody to the business meeting. You can send him the question and answer document. That's another exposure. You can send him 21 minutes video. That's another exposure. You can give him an opportunity for a three way call. That's another exposure. You can give him an opportunity to attend the QSG, right? You can invite somebody who has not gotten signed up to your QSG class, all right? Even after the QSG, you can send the person to our website, Alliance uh, uh, La Buena Vida website. If you, you, you are supposed to have the link to the La Buena Vida website. So that the person can go and check the La Buena Vida website. And even all of that, the person does not sign up, no worries. You can from time to time uh, follow up with the person by sending the person all of the promotional videos that we have in the business to give the person more opportunity, okay? So you continue to follow up with them. Right. Um, surprising, some people are just coming for this meeting now. It's okay. All right, so um, next is, um, let me just quickly round up this. So uh, next is your 444 tracking sheet. So like I said, the goal for you as a new beginner is for you to recruit four people in four weeks. That's like, if you do it slowly, if you do it well, you can achieve four, more than four people in, 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 in two weeks. Like I said, your target should be to invite 25 people to each of the five Zoom meetings that we have on a weekly basis. We have four La Buena Vida and one Amazon Women Project meeting on a weekly basis. Now, when you get started, you are a new distributor, right? And so the 444 worksheet works like this. You have your name here, you have your code, you have your phone number, and the date you got started in business. Now, your first four primary connectors are the first four people who have committed to become part of your business. It's not everybody that signs up into your business, but those ones who have shown commitment. Now, how do you know who, those who have shown commitment? When you give them assignment, when you give them assignment, the ones that return the, the assignment to you, those are the ones that you work with. For example, yesterday, I gave out an assignment, I gave out a video and told people to watch. And 
so that I will know which one to work with. Now, out of the people I sent the video to, only two people did the assignment and gave me back the results. So next time, if I have something to do, I'm going to work with those people who, because, see, you, you cannot drag everybody to success. You can only work with people who are willing to be successful. So you give people assignments, if they don't return your the result, just know very well that these people are jokers and they just came here to play. You work with people who are serious, people who, who, who want to be successful. You help those who are jokers and keep motivating them, maybe they will pick up, but work with people who are serious minded, people who want to change their life, people who do not come here to play, okay? People who enter this business because they see a, saw an opportunity to change their life. Those are the people that are going to work with. So work with them, then put the first person you, that serious person that you have is your first primary connector. Second one is your second primary connector. You have four of them like that, right? Then you help each of them to achieve their first four sign up. So if, for example, my first serious connector um, downline is Bauer, right? Or Patience. Let's say this is Patience Bauer. So my goal as is to help Patience Bauer to sign up her first four downlines, right? So that her own side will be strong, right? I'll now work with the next person, right? And help her connect the, 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 the our first four downlines and then our own list is completed, right? I work with the fourth person and help the fourth person connect our, uh, his fourth, first four downline. Now, this is me talking now. So. Patients too, who is a serious person, I expect patients to do the same thing too. Patients too will get this, when person begins to get downline, she will now work this same model with her downlines. She will write the names of her four serious downlines and also help them to connect their own 444 work uh, people into the business. Once this 444 worksheet is completed, you sign it, all right, and send it to your leader and that is how you become an imagine leader. So you, for you to become an imagine leader, all you need to do is to achieve this 444 worksheet. Have four downlines and help each of those four downlines to sign up four persons. Now, it is easy for you to do this if you are working with serious minded people. All you need to do is that when they sign up, they give you their 100 name list. You make sure that you help them to call and show them ways to invite everybody in their contact list until they are able to get four people to sign up in their business and then you write their name in this list. So, I will expect every one of you in this meeting to have a copy of this uh, 444 worksheet. Because if you work with this 444 worksheet, it's not just the fact that you will become an imagine leader, you would have earned a lot of money in the business. And not just that, the most important thing is that you would have built stability in your business. And this way you can be able to track the progress of your business. Now, the video I sent out yesterday for people to watch, this is emphasized. I will see and encourage everybody in this meeting. If you have not watched that video, is the IPO from the uh, uh, from the um, the I, I, IPO from the um, uh, 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 ambassador Arnold, right? That video explains in detail how you can work your uh, your four 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 worksheet and basically how you can achieve success in this business. So I encourage you do not sleep this night. That video is about uh, one hour to, or to two hours uh, long. Watch that video, dissect it, record it. Okay, just do your jotting and do a voice recording of your summary. Okay, do a voice recording of your summary and send to your leader, right? Now, we've, I've shown you how what numbers of people that you need to invite. I've shown you how you need to invite them, right? I've, I've shown you um, the numbers you need to invite. I've shown you why you need to invite them because you need to do your four, four, four sheet. So now I'm going to be dissecting this script. This script is already in your fast track manual because this meeting is ending now. We are going to end this meeting now and log back in with the same link, the same exact link, nothing changes, right? You just um, log back into the meeting using the same link that uh, you've logged in and we'll continue from there. Uh, this meeting is not going to last long again. I'm almost at the end. I'm just going to go through this script and basically take questions if you have questions. This class is very practical. So I expect that if you have practical questions, you ask me so that I'll be able to give you practical answers so that you don't have any excuse why you don't succeed in this business. My goal and the goal of everybody in this thing is that you become successful. Nobody is happy when you start this business and you, 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 you stop the business, okay? It's like you've lost money and we don't want that for you, okay? So log back into this meeting using the same link, right? So that we'll continue and then round up and basically uh, get, get to work, right? So I'm going to end the meeting now so that we'll just log back in, into the meeting and continue.